Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about creating a basic calculator in JavaScript. So we're going to make a little calculator where the user can enter in two numbers and then our program will take those two numbers, add them together and then spit out the result onto the screen. So it's going to be a pretty basic calculator, but I'm excited to show you guys how to do it. The first thing we want to do when we're creating this calculator is get input from the user. So we're going to need to get two separate numbers from the user. So I'm actually going to create two variables. So I'm going to say there num1 is equal to and we're going to set num1 equal to window.prompt. And basically what window.prompt does is it'll prompt the user for input and then it'll return whatever they input. So we'll be able to store whatever the user inputs into the prompt inside of this num1 variable. And then inside of these parentheses here, we just want to type out the message that we're going to give to them. So I can say enter a number and now we have this variable one set up. So I'm also going to create another variable. We'll just call it variable two or variable num two. And again, just set it equal to window.prompt. And now I'll say enter another number. So we're entering in two numbers here and they're getting stored in num1 and num2. So last thing we want to do is print out the result of adding those two numbers onto the screen. So I can say document.write and I'm just going to put num1 plus num2. Okay, so everything's set up. Let's go over to our website and test this out. I'm going to refresh the page. You'll see here we get this prompt, enter a number. So let's say I want to enter in five. And second number, let's say we want to enter in 2.3. So the program ran, it added the two numbers together, but you'll notice that we got this kind of a weird answer, right? I mean, we added five and 2.3, but instead of getting 7.3, which is, should be the answer, we got 52.3. And actually what's happening here is the program isn't actually adding 5 and 2.3. When you enter in text into those prompt text boxes, no matter what you put in there, JavaScript always just converts it into a string. So I could put numbers in that text box all day long, but no matter what, JavaScript is just going to take the, those numbers, convert them down into a string. And when you add two strings together, the strings just get concatenated. So like the first string just gets appended with the last string and you just get like one big string, which is what happened here. So in order to be able to add these two numbers together, we have to use another special JavaScript function, which will basically convert a string that has numbers in it into a number. And what I can do is I can come down here and I can basically just convert these two num1 and num2 variables into actual numbers. So I can take the strings, I can grab the numbers that are inside of them and make them numbers so that we can add them together. So I could say num1 is equal to, and now I want to use a special function. It's called parse int. And inside of this parse int function, we just want to pass in the number. So I'm going to say num1, or actually we're passing in a string. So I can do that with num1. I can also do that with num2. So we'll say num2, num2. So now when I come over to my website, basically num1 and num2 should have the number values that were inside of those strings. So we'll refresh and I'm going to enter in some new numbers. So we'll enter in five and we'll enter in three. And you'll see here we get what we expected, which is eight. So it added the two numbers together. Instead of getting five concatenated with three inside of a string, we just got the result eight. But there's another problem with this calculator. So if I was to refresh the page again, if I enter in a decimal number, so if I entered in like 5.5 and we entered in like 10, instead of getting 15.5, which we should get, we're just getting 15. And here's the problem. We're using this method or this function down here called parse int. And basically what that means is it'll take the string and it'll convert it into an integer number. Now, generally when we're talking about integers in a programming language, we're talking about whole numbers. So these would be like counting numbers, like one, two, three, four, five. Integers aren't decimal numbers. 
So when we say parse in, we're taking whatever number is inside of this variable and we're just converting it to a counting number, converting it to an integer. If I want to be able to use decimal numbers, instead of saying parse in, I can say parse float. And what this will do is it'll basically like look at both of those numbers and it'll look for decimals as well as just looking for whole numbers. So now when we enter in those same numbers, we can say 10 and 5.5. You'll notice that we get 15.5 instead of just getting 15. So sometimes in certain circumstances, you're going to want to use parse int. In other circumstances, you're going to want to use parse float. For our calculator, parse float ended up being the right function to use. So that's how you can build a basic calculator. Obviously, this is super basic. All it can do is add two numbers. Um, but as we go through this course, you'll figure out ways that you can make this calculator more powerful and more dynamic. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.